A historic site with a rich archaeological past. In tonight's hometown tourist, David Lydon takes us to the Museum of Ojibwe Culture in St. Ignace, a place to learn about the life of those in the Straits more than 300 years ago. Not only are local people learn about their ancestors, over half of the children in our public school here are descendants of those Native Americans, but people that are interested in learning about the history of the Straits should stop here. In what used to be an old Catholic church, this building now serves as a historic spot to immerse yourselves in the lifestyles of the Ojibwe, Huron, and French. We had a mission on our grounds, a Huron village on our grounds, the French Fort de Baud here. And we had archaeologists come to dig to see what they can find to prove that Father Marquette was buried here. Becky will guide you through in traditional regalia, and you'll find some artifacts found right here on the grounds and other examples of culture in the Straits. You'll be able to see the importance of how we used everything in our environment to survive. We have examples of quill work. We have examples of old baskets, old clothing, weapons, hunting tools, grinding stones, moccasins, canoes. Explore the travels of Native American tribes and French fur traders. Watch a movie in a replica long home or experience a life-size long home outside. Our clan exhibit is new about our clan animals that are very important. Each child belongs to her father's clan. Your responsibilities to your village and to your family are based on which clan you belong to. The history is rich here, and Becky says it not only helps to teach about the past, but preserve it for the future especially for the next generation. You know, I'm very flattered when somebody to take an interest and ask questions about how my ancestors survived 400 years ago or what's going on the Native American people now also, not just the past. For hometown tourist in St. Ignace, I'm David Lydon.